Today in this video, I am going to show some healthy babies and what to look for to know if your babies are healthy, growing well. And uh, this is just a quick video of this breeding loft. It's been a month since uh, I've cleaned it. I put the wood pellets down, the birds are paired. Their babies are just starting to hatch and I'm pretty excited. And as you can see, birds look good and um, the loft, those are the wood pellets that are starting to break down. And we're gonna to go to the other section of my young bird loft where I started breeding early to look at some babies. And I'll point out some things that I look for. And I just want you to notice the health and the condition of the pigeons. I vaccinated and worm them. I never medicate them. Any of you follow my videos, you know I'm antibiotic free. And uh, this is what the nests look like. Again, I haven't cleaned. I haven't done anything but move the wood pellets around a little bit for the last month. And uh, it's not bad. I'll start cleaning once the babies hatch. I've got a little baby under him right there. He's made it to the great hen. 23, 23, pretty excited. He's a really good Durasa blonde pigeon. And again, they're on their eggs. They're happy and healthy. And uh, now let's go look at some healthy babies. This is the center section of my young bird loft. I put together some pairs early in the year. I need some birds for Africa Pro. I'm gonna ship these 2024 babies off to Africa Pro in February. So I had to get an earlier start. And uh, I'll show you a little bit about this section. It is the middle section of my young bird loft. And uh, these babies should go to Africa Pro. Now they have in this section, they have a feeder, a Vercel Laga Champion. They have a feeder of chicken pellets with a few rabbit pellets mixed in. They eat very few. My brother put in a little cup of rabbit pellets. They have grit, grit and mineral feeders, everything in front of them. Now let's look at some babies. They do have a little flight pen that they can go out when my race team enters. Here we have two healthy babies. I took them outside to get some better light. And now, things you want to notice with the babies, no redness, no redness in the belly. You don't want to see veins sticking out. The belly button is all nice and healed. There's absolutely no redness. Good looking feet. You know, they're meaty. You cannot miss one feeding. They cannot miss one feeding while they're growing. Are you going to stunt the babies? So, Definitely be aware of that. If you can't feed them constantly, put a feeder in there. Keep feeders in front of them. Also, don't keep the loft completely sterile. The birds get a lot of their natural immunity from picking around in droppings, and they pass that to the babies. So as you can see, this is what healthy babies look like. Very, very nice. So don't miss a feeding. Plenty of grits and minerals, no redness, no swelling around the, the navel, no veins. Sickly babies look skinny. They got veins sticking out. These are very healthy babies. Now we'll look at some older babies and uh, take a look at what I'm looking for in them. Let's take a look at the baby's wing here. I took it outside for better light. No marks, no fret marks. As you can see, there should not be any lines across the feathers. If you have a line, that means the, the feather stopped growing. The baby missed a meal. That's a problem. One meal can affect the baby's life, ruin them for life, especially if you're getting them ready for one loft raises. Now, this other wing, we'll take a look. There's a blemish. See, let's see that mark right there. That's not a fret mark. That's from a parent's toenail or something going across the feather when it was growing in. Also, look at the baby's face. Dry. It shouldn't be a greasy looking waddle. It should be dry. Eyes. Nice and tight. Something to look for when you're raising healthy babies. Very tight, tight eyelids. Waddles dry. Of course, they're not white. It's a baby, but it's dry. Good, good, healthy baby right here. We'll go off, hopefully to the one loft race Africa Pro. Here's another baby. Little red hen it looks like. 
Again, no marks on the feathers, no lines across the feathers. When a bird is hurt or stunted or has a sickness, you'll see little lines that go horizontally across the feathers. That's bad. You don't want to see that. The birds cannot miss a feeding. So look at those feathers. Perfect. Look at her face. The wattle. Again, it's not white, but it's dry. It's a baby. It shouldn't be greasy or oily. Look at the eyes. The, see how tight they are. The, the um, eyelids around the eyeballs. Nice and tight. I don't know if we can see down the throat, but it's pink. Completely pink. No redness, no, no veins, nice pink mouth. And then the belly underneath. There shouldn't be any veins, shouldn't be any redness. Sometimes on a sick baby, you'll see all these irritated looking red veins on the baby. Same with the feet, nice and healthy. Another pigeon I'll be sending off to the one loft race. I know in a lot of lofts on the internet, you'll see them spotlessly clean. A lot of the Europeans, if, if I had full-time help, my lofts would be a lot cleaner. Clean around the bowls. Keep them dry. I use um, dog dishes. I buy a tractor supply. It's just a plastic bowl, but now they're a dollar and a quarter a piece. It's a great deal. But keep the loft dry, but not crazy sanitized. Like, let them get into some droppings. That's how they pass the adult immunity. That's how they infest the baby's intestine with the friendly bacteria. They get it from the milk, but they also get it from the droppings of heavy of, um, of healthy pigeons. So my pigeons being antibiotic free for forever, their droppings are probably extremely healthy and it passes a great natural immunity onto the babies. This is my young bird loft. I'm just using it as a temporary breeding section to get some early babies. And I hope you like my videos. This is Frank McLaughlin. Please like and subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, put some comments in. If you have any questions, I can maybe answer one question and help many. Thank you so much.